Hey, it's his Officer Heiner with the Lexington Police Department. Just uh, seeing if this is a Dustin Wonderlick. I made it like that. I bought it like that. I'm living like that. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you, talking about the next greenhouse. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's episode, we're gonna bring you up to speed on more what we got going on with Greenhouse 2.0, what I got going on with the city, as well as my conversation with the police. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna bring you up to speed on what's going on with the project. But first things first, I like to start off with positive quotes and affirmations. And in fact, many of you all messaged me directly sharing with me your affirmations. So if you don't have something that keeps you positive and keeps you moving, you should make one. Here he goes again with all the woo-woo stuff. All right, mine goes like this. And I'll be quick about it, even though I go slow when I talk to myself. If I could have any job in the world, what would it be? I have the perfect job for me. My goal is to help people through my service. I strive to be the best in the world at what I enjoy doing. I look at the best in all situations. I will not worry about things I cannot control. I work hard at these things and understand that you can't get what you want in life without paying the price and enduring the suffering and crying on camera to get it. I will postpone short-term gratification for my long-term life goals and what are those long-term life goals well one of them is to have a location where i can actually go and meet fish tank people away from my house i don't know 350 gallon aquarium floor of my garage in the words of the late notorious big in the 10 crack commandments this rule is highly overrated keep your family and business completely separated money and blood don't mix like two i'm not allowed to complete that potty mouth lyric on youtube but i'll link it up in the comments all right, now I'm going to go from Biggie to Nas. Nas talks about living your dream when he says, quote, For real, G, I'm going to fulfill my dream. If I can seal my scheme, then precisely I will build my cream. No, let's rewind the tape back just a second here, okay, on Greenhouse Fail.0. I actually put my initial offer in on that property in May of last year and concealed my scheme. I did not talk about that for over seven months. Side note, I was supposed to close on Greenhouse Fail.0 back in January, which is why I started bringing you all daily videos in 2018, hoping to do them from a new monster epic greenhouse location. But life doesn't always work out as planned. In the words of the motivational speaker Les Brown, think about when you get in an airplane. Fasten your seatbelts because you will experience some turbulence during takeoff. Greenhouse deal falls through. Dustin cries on camera. Fish tank people feel sorry for Dustin. Dustin finds a new location, better location, closer to his house that is zone B1, which means I can actually have people over and not worry about the lady and all the crazy neighbors around that area of town. As we mentioned the other day, serendipitously, while I'm working on the zoning in the new location, not across the street from the lady, the police call and leave a voicemail on my phone. More on my conversation with the police in just a second. We're quoting Nas again. Time is money when it comes to mind taken in blood. I'm not wasting any time. I meet with the people in Nicholasville in a preliminary, not the official meeting, and tell them what I'm trying to do. They tell me it seems to be a good idea and I shouldn't have too much problems. I file the conditional use papers. Here's the fun part. When I filed for the conditional use, last time I had to mail 11 people and all 11 people showed up to fight my deal. All right, so this time the whole conditional use thing is going a heck of a lot easier. I got three people I got to worry about. One of the guys, the guy I'm actually buying the property from, don't got to worry about him two other people I got to worry about one guy owns a fencing company the other guy does uh, apparel but I figure look I'm not trying to waste any time I got two people that I need to talk about I'm just gonna roll in there so I roll into the apparel shop it's basically my neighbor next to this property how you doing sir I wanted to come over here and introduce myself my name is Dustin I've actually got the uh, piece of property across the way here under contract I want to tell you kind of my plans of what I got going on uh, I actually am trying to build a greenhouse on that location and I just want to see if you guys had any issues with that folks I wish I could make this up. I go over there, I tell him what I'm doing. The first words I've ever heard this gentleman say out of his mouth are, no, I don't have a problem with you putting a greenhouse up over there. I hope you're growing dope in it. Base one's covered, time to go to base two. I roll over to my neighbor Myers fencing. I actually catch this guy on a Saturday because he's a hard working hustler and that's the only time you can usually get most business owners. I roll in there, I tell him what I'm trying to do. He's completely cool as hell, takes me around his location, is all about it, tells me where to get concrete done, who built his building, where to get a deal. Base one covered, base two covered, let's call a city. But folks, to continue quoting the wonderful hip hop coming out in the late 90s, you gotta protect your neck. So on Monday, the day of the conditional use meeting, keep in mind, the last conditional use meeting I went to, 11 people showed up and killed something I've been working on for almost a year. This time around, I'm not taking any chances. I'm protecting my neck. I call up the always helpful Melissa at the Jasmine County Planning and Zoning Board. 
Yeah, hey Melissa, how's it going? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, touch base with you. I know you guys have the conditional use meeting tonight, and I wanted to see if there was anything that I needed to bring, make sure you got all the documents, and uh, really just kind of cover my bases to make sure everything is good for tonight's meeting. With a dramatic pause. Oh, they didn't call and tell you? I'm not gonna lie, folks, when she said, oh, they didn't tell you, my butt cheeks tightened up and a little bit of pee went into my undies after the deal I went through in the last one. Oh, they didn't tell you? Yeah, they spoke to the attorney. That's zone B1. You don't have to worry about that. We're gonna take all those funds and either get them back to you or put them towards your final development plan. Wait, you mean I don't even need to do any of that? You mean 11 people aren't gonna come and just crap all over some deal I've been working on for a long time? No, you're fine, you're good. You don't even need to come to the meeting. Wait a minute, hold on here. Protect your neck, kid. Hey, can I get that in writing? Yes, folks, I do not need a conditional use. I do not have an opportunity for 11 people to come and crap all over me. That property is zone B1. It means I can have you beautiful people all up over this place when the time is right. I don't need to file a conditional use. I don't need to worry about the neighbors. The neighbors are cool as hell and everything is rolling. And I did get it in writing. Yes, folks, this story has a happy ending. And last Friday, April 20th, your boy Dustin closed on the piece of land where I'm going to build the next greenhouse. But what about the lady who called the police on Dustin? Well, folks, she's being punished as we speak by our friend Karma. That's right, folks. I called back the police officer not once but twice that called me, but he didn't bother to call me back because I'm not doing anything illegal. Hit the subscribe button, the notification button, and get excited about videos coming from the new location. Tank on, everybody. Later. From, from there to there is the 72 like feet of the greenhouse. We're going to do a 36 foot by 36 foot square of the greenhouse in the 24 by 36 foot building. Boom. 